The 12 Tribes Compound Summit is more than just a book launch or a fundraiser. It's an event, it is a happening, it is a coming together of readers and people and fans and book enthusiasts. If I can read a book and not know where it's going to go, I'm going to have to do it. A diversity of people, 12 tribes coming together to really celebrate literacy and reading and being a part of something that is sort of like a, a cultural movement, a cultural event. And the one thing that we do know is that the vampire literature, the vampire lore, tends to track with whatever's going on in society. So if all of a sudden things become very really economic and very really political, you're going to see a lot of economics and politics and, and, and predatory stuff in that thing, in the, in the vampire's uh, so, it, you know, I think what happens is that it morphs. It morphs with whatever's going on with us. Uh, look, I want to uh, put on my, I guess, my pastor's hat for a moment and say that, in a sense, none of this would be possible if we didn't have a culture that nourished and celebrated and I'm still very much aware uh, that there are children, particularly from our minority ethnic groups, who don't believe that reading is an appropriate or useful pastime. And I think it means so much for there to be young adults and adults who actually read for fun. Uh, and so I don't take that for granted, uh, that you literally change the world and change the way a child grows up and thinks about himself or herself or their place in the world by being an adult who reads and shares a love of books in any genre. And we had fabulous sponsors that came along for the ride with us. Verizon was our title sponsor for both our VIP reception and our main event. We had the Philadelphia Folklore Project host uh, along with us the uh, main event. We had St. Martin's Press, the DeBell Brothers. Uh, we had the Greater Philadelphia uh, Tourism and Marketing Corporation. Temple University School of Tourism and Hospitality Management. We had so many people um, just become involved. The Philadelphia Visit Convention and Visitors Bureau. We had so much involvement and support from our sponsorship. Castle of Dracula Wine came in and provided a wine tasting. And we had the Devil's Candy Store actually have a handcrafted sword 
that was uh, made especially for us so that we could raffle it away to one of our biggest fans through an essay contest which will be delivered on Saturday night. So th this was more than just a normal book launch. It was a multitude of events. I think that the direction that the Empire literature can go in is, is one of cultural exploration. 